Hey yo, this is Pokio Design Pro. Welcome to this episode of Archicad. In this episode, uh, we are going to learn how to come up with these complex facades in Archicad. To be specific, uh, we are going to learn how to model this complex wall cladding facade onto this project. Uh, this is an image that I've just inserted into the project. Yeah, and then uh, this is also an image as well, following the pattern that we are going to use. So we are going to use this pattern to come up with this facade. But before we start the design, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more educative tutorials as it also helps me to grow the channel. And for those who learned something at the end of the video, please always give it a thumbs up by liking and also in the comment section you give me the feedback how you've enjoyed the video in the similar way don't forget to turn on your notification for the daily updates yeah so we can start by remodeling this building i'm going to look for the wall tool the wall tool is under design i come under design click on the wall tool then for its settings i'll change this to center then for the structure basic i'm going to choose the first one then uh, under the structure i'm going to give it a brick structure then uh, the thickness i can go with 300 millimeter thickness and also let me change the flow to flow heights i'll come under stories i right click and i'll come to story settings it's right here click on that then I'm going to make it 4 meters instead of 3. Then this will be 4 meters. That will be 8. I'm going to insert a story above. Click there. And I'm going to make this 4 meters as well. Yes. I say OK. So I have up to the third story. Then I'll come back to my ground floor. I'll click on it, come to the wall tool, and I'll change the geometrical method of construction into the rectangular method. I click here, I choose the rectangular method. And I come have my rectangle at that. So let me give it dimensions. I'm going to give it 15 meters. Click on tab, 15 by 7.5 come to 3d let me change the material i'll click on it ctrl t for the settings so i'm going to change this i want it all white so let me change this to stucco stucco white fine make all faces the same i say okay then I'll want to make all of them the same. I'll come and pick parameters of this wall. Then I inject it in these other walls. Simply do this. Have all my walls the same. I'll come back to the ground floor. If I'm to look at our building, the next floors are offsetted. So we are going to offset them a bit. I'll come back to the first floor. Click on the first floor. And I'll need to trace what is under. I'll come here where there is trace. I click on it. I'll be able to see what is below. Come to the wall tool. And I'm going to have a rectangle. Uh, let me have it at this point. So instead of having 15 on our dimension 1, I'm going to have it as 17 meters. Then for the dimension 2, I'm going to have it at 9.5. 9.5. Enter. So when I come back to 3D, this is what we have. And I'll come back to the ground floor plan. Look at my picture. We have in here curtain walls, but for this case, we can just use doors. I'll come look for the door tool, design the design, I double click on it, 
then I will check under the sliding doors I can go with this one so I'm going to change its width to let me give it 5 meters then the height I can go with 4 meters that is the floor to floor height or oh, let me give it 3.8 then under sliding door setting still we are going to give it uh, four leaves four sliding leaves i'll click on that let me check for sliding leaves let me give it this one then uh then the door leaf we want no grid for the handle we can leave it as none yes so i think that is okay for now you know press ok come here have that door like that when i come to 3d i have something like this so now i have to adjust so that they have the same width of the panels come click on this ctrl t for the settings and i have to move back under nominal sizes and tolerance i'll change the dimension 4 let me give it 2.5 i say okay so i'll have that door like that come back to the ground floor so i'll come pick parameters of this door and i draw it somewhere there come back to 3d this is what we have let me add some slabs on our building I'll come back on the ground floor, click on the slab tool, and I'll have the slab at that. Come back on the first story, I'll click on the first story, and I'll have the inner slab at that. Come check out everything in 3D. For this one, uh, let me reduce it a bit. I'm going to make it 200 millimeters thick. Then I'll change this material. I'll click on it. Ctrl T for the settings. I come change here. I'm going to make it white. Uh, stucco white fine. Then under, I can leave the stucco white rough. I say OK. So we shall have something like that. Now let us model our wall cladding. This is the image that I inserted into the project. We are going to use this profile of this cladding. So I'll need to rescale this image. I click on it, Ctrl K on the keyboard, say OK. Now let me make this 2.3 meters. Put it there, type 2.3 enter and i'm going to use the line tool i'll come under documents and i select the line tool i'll first stretch out my profile come here now i'm going to give it dimension 2.3 that is for dimension one then uh, press the tab key for dimension two let me give it 5.2 say enter so we have that and i'll need also to sketch out these circles i'll come to the circle tool it is right here i click on it then come have my circles have that one like that then draw another one also here like that
having done that, I click on the image. Uh, let me move it this side. So this is the pattern that uh, we have created for cladding. So I'll make this a slab. I'll go to the slab tool. I click on it, and I'm going to change this to. Let me give it 200. Then Ctrl T for the settings. Uh, let me give all this stucco white. Let me go in the cluster. Stucco white. I open all these ones. They make them uniform. Say OK. I'll use the magic key. That is the space button on the keyboard. I'll click on it. At the same time, moving my cursor where I want to make the slab. So I'll make entire all this slab. And I'll need to cut out the opening still. I come click on the slab and click on any side. And I'm going to use this subtract from polygon. I make sure it is highlighted. Come click on the magic key. That is the space key on the keyboard. Click like that. Do the same. So we are here now. That is after subtracting those small circular openings. Then uh, for the thickness, uh, let's give it 300. Next, we are supposed to save this slab as a curtain wall panel. So I'll click on it, come to file, libraries and objects, save selection as. We are going to go to curtain wall panel if you can have a look at that file libraries and objects save selection as curtain wall panel so i'll click on this then i'll name it as wall cladding wall cladding cladding zero one then i'll save the new custom wall cladding 01 will be available in the settings dialog boxes of relevant objects which recognize it. So I'll say OK. We have it saved. So we need to draw it. Now we are going to have it on our first story. That is our first floor. I'll come on the first floor. We are going to have it here. So I'll come to the curtain wall tool, which is right here. I click on it, Ctrl T for the settings. Then under curtain wall system, for the height, I'm going to give it 5.2. Remember that was the height of our cladding. Then uh, the base offset it is from zero, that is story one. Then under scheme, I'll click on it. I will have to delete these ones. Then also for this, I'll delete and leave one. Then under columns, we are going to have fixed sizes. Even here in the row, we are having fixed sizes. This dimension one is 2.3, if I'm to remember. Then uh, the height is 5.2. We have it at that. Then we come change the panel. We make sure it is distinct panel. Click on that. Then these mullions, which are supposed to be millions, when you click on them, uh, we are going to make them division. So I'll come, click on division, and also this one, the upper one, to be division. Why? Because I want it to be a single scheme. Having those simple changes on the scheme, and uh, next we go to frames. I'll click on frames. We don't have to worry about the million frames and also the transom frame. So we're not going to change anything. 
around there what we need is to work on the boundary frame and the corner frame so for this one uh, we shall drop down and we are going to make them invisible then the corner frame we are going to do the same i drop down i'm going to make it invisible that is okay next we shall go under panels i'll click on panels so to put in the custom panel we created i'll come on a distinct panel i drop down and i go with custom panel i click on it then under curtain wall panel settings when i click there i'll see my wall cladding 01 there so i can simply say okay then i'll come have my cladding drawn on the first story so i'll look for the second geometrical method which is this so i'll have it start from here there finish from there so when i come to 3d that is our panel that we are having so let me adjust the heights of these walls click on it then i'll come here under story 2 i click i make it not linked i move it up a bit i'll use this stretch height then have it uh, right there i'm going to copy parameters of this i inject it in this i do the same for all these ones i orbit around our building yes this is how you can achieve these wall cladding patterns in archicad I hope you enjoyed and you learned something. Yeah, watch out for more episodes in Archicad. And please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. At the same time, to turn on your notifications for the daily updates. Thank you. Stay blessed.